Daniel 2, 7. The first word here is the pa'al perfect third masculine plural, they answered. The next word, it looks like the ordinal number second, but then you add the ut shirkvav tav suffix, it becomes the special word second time and said. They answered and said. So the second verb idea that brings us up to the atna is expressed with a pa'al participle masculine plural. And then we notice this zakef gadol pause. Now we don't want to overinterpret that. The first time that these advisors used this word, this determined state word, they were using it in a vocative sense. But that's not what is going on here. Why do I say that? It's because it's going to serve as the subject of this pa'al imperfect third person masculine singular verb. So after the Atnach, we have uh, let the king tell the dream. And then so second line now to his servants. And we say servants because we notice this holom vav. That holom vav tells us that the noun it's attaching to is plural. Normally with all other combinations of person, gender, number in suffixes, it's going to be a yod there that tells us that information. And the interpretation we will declare. We just want to notice the comments hey suffix. That is a free variant for the comments aleph determined state suffix. And we notice that these advisors have fronted the object, perhaps because they have realized that they're in trouble. The king has told them to tell the dream and the interpretation. They want to emphasize the interpretation, they will declare. And as they're talking, they're using the jussive. That perhaps they're doing this because the first time they used the imperative, now they're switching to the jussive, a more polite, a more indirect way of talking. Altogether, they answered a second time and said, Let the king tell the dream to his servants, and the interpretation we will declare.